We started out as mainly a filtration company, and then we kind of morphed into cut and sew. Our relationships within the cut and sew industry, a lot of the same materials are used in PPEs. So once the pandemic happened, we found that everybody was looking to help. And so from that, it's kind of changed our business model, at least for the short term. We heard everybody was closing down, and we was the last company to hear that we weren't closing down, that we was going to be supplying masks, gowns, and I mean, we're still moving up. So this shipment that came in, it actually started out in China, flew into Chicago. From Chicago, you saw that unloading here, and we would do is we'll take that and we'll break that into separate orders and send that out to our customers. Our customers will disseminate those to all of their different facilities. The filter shop, he's been a world send for us. We were having trouble with our current manufacturers and everything, getting the three-ply masks and the KN95s. But Joe's relationship over there and having everything together has been, has been great. Most importantly, we're able to get it out to our clients and keep them safe. We are a bulk shop. Most of our projects are several hundred thousand per year. Dealing with several million each week is a, is a big number. And if it's a million of anything, it's a lot. With this pandemic, the way we found ourselves positioned to help, it's very rare that you find a way to continue your business as well as help others. I've never been in a position where anything that I've done from a business standpoint could actually save somebody's life. And so that was an opportunity we chose that we couldn't let pass.